I and others, we all feel the need for inner peace. Hence, that's why I play with paint every day. But it's not the only thing that I do to create this for myself. As I have had a lot of stress from things I couldn't control, I have learned to create more anchors in my daily life that prevent myself from overwhelm. And guess what? I'm gonna share them with you. Number one. A long time ago I was subscribed to a newspaper and it was the first thing I read every morning. And in the evenings I would watch the news and programs programs about the news and programs about the programs about the news I thought I needed to be up to date with everything that happened somewhere on this planet and then on one day there was a terrible event on Queen's Day in the Netherlands and a little girl was killed amongst others I think but I can't remember that very well sadly well Anyway, after the weekend, on Monday morning, on the front page, there was a photo of this little girl as she was stumbling over the street. It made me sick to my stomach. The overwhelm of the grief of her parents and her family was unbearable. And suddenly, I felt no longer the need to see that. I realized news and a newspaper made me unhappy and from that day on I'm very aware of what I take in or better said what I let out of the news some days I some days I'm okay and I can watch it but most of the times I'm better off not to see any news at all number two I use as less as possible social media I know it sounds weird to tell you this in a YouTube, but surely made my life a lot more at peace. I do not have to have the latest social media. I'm kind of only on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, looking at the numbers and the stats numerous times make no sense, but I have installed that my phone takes notice of the amount of screen time I have and that is very much a way to get aware of all the time you are kind of wasting. So every week I get the stats about that and then I try to be less online than last week. It's not always working but at least I'm aware of it. And I'm trying. Number three, I stopped multitasking. When all my four kids were still at home, I was kind of proud of being able to do five things at one time. Helping with homework, folding the laundry, putting the laundry in the washing machine, cooking dinner, listening to the TV, everything at one time. But it all was too much. And then I started to see to read about mindfulness and how multitasking is not a good thing at all and I started to do just one thing at a time the kids had to wait till I had time and although they got a little frustrated when I would say just wait a second I w it was all worth it and I can do a lot more and I am way better focused on one thing at a time and I am also way more relaxed number four I put daily moments of relaxing in my day I don't mean meditation or art although that's one thing I do every day too but it's a moment that I use my breath to relax my body um, you take a deep breath, you bre do it um, with your belly, with your tummy, and when you breathe out, you scan your body if there is any tension and try to release that. As you breathe in and breathe out and lower the tension of your shoulders, 
you make them feel more heavy and the good thing about this is you can do it anywhere at any time you can do it sitting on the couch on your work chair you can do it on the uh, in your car you can do it outside you can do it inside you can even do it on the toilet if you don't want your colleagues watching you breathing in and out breathing like that with your tummy so you do it a very low um, uh, breathing is also very good for your whole body as it stim stimulates your lymph and release your body of toxins like that so that was number four number five I don't buy stuff for the sake of buying I barely buy anything I buy food but that's that's about it it's one side because I grew up very poor and I've learned to live with not too much stuff. But on the other hand, I'm just a minimalist. I love to try to reuse things. In my art, it's the same. I do have some supplies, but I won't buy new things too much just for the sake of buying new stuff. I just think it's not necessary. Not buying a lot of things keeps your house from getting cluttered as well and it's a lot easier to choose things too. Think of Steve Jobs with his clothes. He didn't have to think what, uh, what to put on with everything black. Well, these were five things that I do to keep myself from getting overwhelmed. I hope this was a bit helpful as we can have such busy lives and don't even see anymore what impact these kind of things have on our, our daily feelings. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe for more. And if you would like to know more about how to tame your inner critic, please well, watch this movie. Now, the only thing I want to do is wishing you a great day don't forget to enjoy the little things breathe in and out and a big hug from me bye bye for now <laughs>